What is your dharma? What is that juice, that magic and medicine that is handwritten on your soul, imprinted on your heart, such an essential part of you experiencing fulfillment as a human being? Now, dharma has a lot of meanings, but one of them, which I absolutely love, is cosmic law or order. And what this means is that your dharma is that inherent cosmic law or order governing your soul, governing your existence on this earth. It has nothing to do with anybody else. It is a purely individual aspect of your personality expressed without hindrances of trauma and drama and ama. This is your dharma. So often people mix up dharma with accumulation of wealth. If they are the same thing, this is beautiful and they don't have to be. It is okay to earn money from other streams that are not related to your dharma. Because somebody's dharma as a philanthropist may be giving money to organizations that are healing the planet, that are helping children with disabilities read. So many ways to help in this world. And the money could come from investments in real estate, from cryptocurrency, from all kinds of stuff. Ultimately, Dharma is your individual purpose, which works to collectively raise the consciousness and vibration of your fellow human beings. Because remember, a rising tide raises all ships. And when you tap into your divine destiny, you can only win. But so many of us have been conditioned and partitioned and drained and brainwashed into thinking we had to be a certain way. And we adapted certain habits and personalities in order to make our parents happy in order to fit in with society's version of success, which is largely dictated by marketing and people that don't give a shit about the world. That is the metric we have been trained to look at as what is desirable, what is uh, the highest goal in life. It's to get married and have a white picket fence and do this job and make a lot of money. It doesn't have to be. Success is unique to everyone. So finding your dharma is about finding your unique conditions for success that make you feel that you are contributing your gifts to the world. And it doesn't have to be about saving the planet. It can be about singing. It can be about making clothing art. All of these hold value when they are carried forth as an expression and in reverence to the divine spirit, to that divine thread that flows through all things. This is the way of Dharma. So many of my clients come to me and they say, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want. And part of the problem is that this is the wrong question. And a better question is, how can I serve? Because when you start operating from how can I serve using my unique gifts, magic and medicine, this is an inside out game. How can my fullness of expression bring light to those who are looking for it, even if it triggers the fuck out of some other people? As long as you're not hurting anybody, and you're doing it from a place of truth, then it's the right thing to do. Doing your dharma isn't always easy. You might have to overcome major obstacles and this is part of the journey. Look at some of the heroes in the book we just listened to together, The Great Work of Your Life, right? Look at Harriet Tubman. Do you think that it was easy to help Hundreds and thousands of slaves escaped through treacherous territory lined with armed soldiers and crazy racists ready to kill her and tear her apart, not only for what she was doing, but for what she represented to people, which was hope and possibility. 
Do you think it was easy for Martin Luther King to lead people against a total shitstorm of society to get rocks thrown at him every day, everywhere he went. These crazy people were trying to tear him down. No, he didn't stop, he kept going. Because Dharma is about being willing to take bullets for your gifts, about being willing to take bullets for what you are here to do and what you are here to serve the world with. So my question to you is, what lights you up? What have you gone through? What is your unique condition? Because it is your unique conditions that will often give you the struggles and strife that make up the juice that then becomes the thing that you shared to help other people heal in their lives. What is that for you? Are you a gardener bringing joy to people through the gifts of plant and the OG of all plant medicine, which is oxygen? What are you here to do? And how much of what you have been doing has been for approval or security or control instead of actually living the magic written on your soul? You are so divine and your light matters. And the more you shine your light, the more other people will see it and begin to recognize that it's time to turn up theirs. Your body is the antenna for the radio signal of your soul and your dharma is the way you express it. I invite you to go deep into this work, to go deep inside and really tap into what brings you that fulfillment. Let me know what's alive for you and check out the homework. I've got some great exercises for you to help you understand your dharma so that can become a part of your karma. Because remember, karma means action. It is not just the shit that happens to you because of some past life stuff. It's what you are creating now. Karma, action, karma, action. Mm. Sending so much love. Om Namah Shivaya.